Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is an English translation of the Majlis of Hazrat Mawlana Qamaru Zaman Sahib Damad Barakatuhum, which took place on Wednesday morning at Baitul Askar in Ilahabad, Wasiabad, UP, India. Wednesday, the 22nd of Shaban, 1444, corresponding with the English date, 15th of March, 2023. Hazrat Wala starts of this majlis by quoting the ayat of the Quran in Majid Ar-Rahman Allama al-Quran khalaqa al-insan allamahu al-bayan Thereafter Hazrat Wala then goes on to explain He says that initially my intention was that I should write an easy tafsir of the Quran in Majid And then after that, in fact, I even gave the start of that there to uh, Maulana Muhammad Ahmad Sahib. He even wrote a tamheed, rather an introduction to this particular kitab that I intended to then thereafter compose. Nevertheless, after some while, this kitab came, Anwarul Bayan, and when I went through it, I understood that this is an easy tafsir of the Quran in Majid. We have many different tafsirs. Another tafsir is a darsi, alimana, that of Monana Idris Kandalwi. Monana Ashik Ilahi is the mufassir of this particular tafsir kitab. He was the hadi, uh, uh, Khalifa of Hazrat Sheikh Al Hadith, and I met him in Medina Munawwara. Nevertheless, Hazrat Tanwi wrote the Hayatul Muslimin. And in the start of Hayatul Muslimin, he brought 100 ayat of the Quran in Majid. I took those 100 ayat that were merely just mentioned in the start, just quoted like that. I collected in this kitab the tarjuma of those ayat and the tafsir of those ayat, and that has become a kitab on its own. Nevertheless, presently also. What is being gathered are those ayat of the Quran and Majid that Hazrat Maulana Shah Wasiullah Sahib used to quite often quote and make a tafsir of those ayat or have majlis on that. You know his emphasis was so much on Quran and Majid that the great mufassir of the Quran, Maulana Abdul Majid Darya Badi, came and he said that when I came here, I also understood or was made to understand the importance of the Quran and Majid. So the Quran in Majid has a great taluk and relationship with the month of Quran, uh, with the month of Ramadan. Rather, this fast and this siyam, this roza that we carry out in the month of Ramadan is actually shukran lahu. It is as a, a thanksgiving to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala for this uh, uh, Quran that He has given us. So the fasting is actually a shukr to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala for the Quran that we have been granted. So you know, after a sheikh has passed away, then his people then make tashrih and they make commentary of his kalam. Hazrat Mujaddid Al Fathani left this dunya, and Hazrat Khaja Muhammad Maasum took on this work, and he explained fully the talimat and the teachings. Of his father, Hazrat Mujaddid Al Fathani. Nevertheless, Hakim Ajmeri, who was a alim of note, he used to say that this person here has made the shri of the kalam and the works. Of Hazrat Maulana Shah Wasiullah Sahib. Now, they actually, I am saying here, he was referring to Hazrat uh, Wala Damat Barakatuhum. He has written tremendously, and he has written well. So Allah Taala says, "Utlu ma uhiya ilayka min al kitab." That recite that which has been revealed to you from the Quran and Majid. Why should you recite? Taqarruban ila Allahi. So that you, the tilawat, can be a means of you gaining proximity and closeness to Allah. Wa tahfudan li alfazihi, and also so that when a person recite, why should you recite? So that the meanings, other the words 
of the Quran and Majid can be learnt and protected and memorized. Wa istikshafan limaanihi. We also recite Quran because when a person recites over and over and over again, what happens? The meanings of the Quran then thereafter open up. Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal, rahimahullah, when he sees this dream, he asks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Bima ataqarrabu ilayk? How will I gain closeness to you? And then Allah ta'ala replies to him by saying, Bitilawati kalami, by recitation of my kalam. He goes on to say, Bifahmin, he asks, O bila fahmin, uh, the closeness that I will gain by the recitation of your Quran Majid, your kalam, Will it have to be with a reading, with understanding or without understanding? And then Allah Ta'ala once again answers him by saying, Bifahmin, O Bila Fahmin, you will gain closest to me by recitation of the Quran in Majid, whether it is read with understanding or without understanding. Allahu Akbar. You know, here people go and do a homeopathic uh, ilaj and treatment. And then they go to these people who have got their knowledge uh, and they went to Germany to get their ta'aleem etc. And they understand it to be a, such a great sense of honor. So I am saying here, so the person here who understands Arabic is he's trying to understand the kalam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Ali Medin. Is there no kamal or perfection in that? Allahu Akbar. When Sayyid Raza Misri came to India and then he heard the speech, the majlis of Hazrat Shah Anwar who spoke about the ulama of Hind. He spoke of the ulama and the mashayikh, his asatiza, etc. Sayyid Raza Misri went on to say, I agree with this, what he is saying. I acknowledge it and I am together with him on the same page with whatever he is saying. Allahu Akbar. People are saying that I want to teach this English and I want to do this and that and the other. I went to the Shura in uh, uh, Dioband and people were sitting there and then I said to them, what is this, this type of, of discussion? Rather, produce, bring about students the caliber of Hazrat Shah An uh, Anwar Kashmiri. That he was able to speak in front of the luminaries of the time, great alim of Egypt, Sayyid Raza Misri. Today people go to uh, Dioban. Hazrat Manana Shah Wasiullah Sahib used to say that. They go to Dioban, they stay there for a year and then they say that they have achieved. They think that they have become Allama. Did they even understand the maslak of Darulum Dioban? Khune dil peene ko, lakhte jigar khane ko, yehi ghiza milti hai jana teri diwane ko. So a person would most definitely have to go under sacrifice, difficulty, persevere in this path. Then he would achieve something. Rather, carry out and have these hips jalsas. Why? So that those who had achieved and memorized the Quran, they can be motivated. Hazrat Kari Tayyip sahab spoke so much about khayrukum man ta'allam al-Quran wa'allama. So nevertheless, we are here on Surah Rahman. Now, in Surah Rahman, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala discusses the various favors that he has blessed man and jinn. These favors are tremendous and benefit people in this world and in the year after. Allah Ta'ala repeats the verse. So which favors of your Lord do the two of you, meaning man and jinn, so which favors of your Lord, do the two of you deny? Do the two of you deny man and jinn? Allah Ta'ala mentions this particular verse 31 times in the surah. This lends great beauty to the surah in terms of recitation and meaning. 
Now, if we look at the virtues of the Quran in Majid, the opening verses of Surah Rahman make mention of such bounties that feed one's belief, soul, and body. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala begins by saying, Ar Rahman. The most merciful. Allam al Quran. Taught the Quran. The Quran is an extremely great bounty of Allah to mankind. Allah Ta'ala taught man the word of the Quran, the meanings of the verses, and also allowed man to understand the eloquence and the rhetoric of the Quran. In addition to this, Allah has also made it easy for man to memorize the Quran. Man who is merely an entity filled with blood is extremely honored to be able to contain the speech of Allah in his bosom and to speak it with his tongue. Hundreds of thousands and millions of books have been written containing the explanations of the Quran and Majid, and this practice will continue until the day of Qiyamah. Now, besides the Quran, besides Teaching the Quran to man, Allah Ta'ala has also granted him the privilege of teaching the Quran to others. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that when a person has been granted the bounty of the Quran, he has, uh, uh, meaning that he has memorized it and he thinks that another person has a bounty uh, greater than his, than he is ungrateful to an extremely great bounty. Sayyidina Uthman radiallahu ta'ala reports that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, The best of you is he who learns the Quran and teaches it. Sayyidina Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma narrates that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, The best of my ummah are the bearers of the Quran and those who stay awake in ibadat at night. Allahu Akbar. This hadith is in Mishkat Sharif. The Quran is a book as well as Allah's speech. The Muslims are truly honored to have this great miracle in their hearts and flowing fluently even from the tongues of their little children. They, even, they are even able to remember the verses that are alike meaning the mutashabihat and are able to recite it while sleeping and when awake. People who have nothing of the Qur'an in their hearts are extremely unfortunate. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, The heart that has nothing of the Qur'an is like a deserted house. Now this hadith here is in Mishkat and also in Tirmizi and Dharmi. So, Hazrat al Ashik Ilahi also compiled the Kitab Zad al Talibin, which we use in uh, the madrasa as well. The Kitab is taught. So, Allah Ta'ala give us the tawfiq and the hidayat of learning and teaching the Quran. Learning and teaching the Quran, reading it and reading it to others as well. Allah Ta'ala give us the tawfiq also to understand the Quran Kareem. Rather, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala illuminate our hearts by mean of the Quran in Majid. Allahumma ja'alil uh, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad Allahumma salli ala Muhammad Allahumma salli ala Muhammad Allahumma ja'alil Quran al-Azim rabi'a qalbi wajila'a huzni wadiha bahammi Oh Allah, make the Quran in Majid the fountain of my heart and the remover of my grief and my worries and my sorrow. Rabbana, oh, what a beautiful dua this is. What a beautiful dua this is. Rabbana la tuzih qulubana ba'da idh hadaytana wa hab lana min ladunka rahmah innaka anta al-wahhab. Rabbana la tuzih qulubana ba'da idh hadaytana wa hab lana min ladunka rahmah innaka anta al-wahhab. Rabbana la tuzih qulubana ba'da idh hadaytana wa hab lana min ladunka rahmah innaka anta al-wahhab. Allah Ta'ala give us all munasabat with the words of the Quran Majid, its meanings and its uloom and its knowledge. Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta samiyul alim wa tub alayna innaka anta tawabur rahim bi hurmati sayyidin nabiyyil kareem sallallahu ta'ala alayhi